I mean, true crime's always been the thing, but because of <coughs> DNA yes. and all of this, crime's almost over. Mm -hmm. Guess what, everyone? Get out of crime. <laughs> it's <laughs> over. Move on. Move on. Over. Yeah. Pick a different career path. <laughs> <You, laughs> exactly. You, <laughs> you can't get away with it. How's your life changed since this show came on the scene? Night and I mean, day. Yeah, really, because you've been a successful actor for a long time, but this is a phenomenon. Yeah, it is. It's like I like to go to the drug store and to the <laughs> to the grocery store, and now it's hard to get out of there without giving at least two or three hugs. Yeah. Because that's the kind of yeah. fandom that our show elicits. They're like, can I just hug you? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm down for a hug. And, and what about putting out something like that now? Like, it feels like the world can be dark sometimes yes. so to put out the light do you feel like okay this is what i'm this feels more than just a it's, tv show what our show gets to entertain it gets to educate and it gets to edify mm -hmm. it lifts people's souls right so when you as an artist you want to do something with integrity but when you get a chance to tell a message that like resides in people's bones it's the sweet spot your show's gotten so many accolades. People clearly okay, you just got the SAG it. You just award. Got yeah. the SAG award. I just was wondering when you see, do you sit at home like we do with tissues yes. and what you do? You weep Which, and watch. Yes, because oftentimes, like we're, I'm just one tiny part of yeah. the equation, and like you want to see all of the incredible work that your friends are doing. So, and we're on a text chain, and it's like, yeah. fam, <laughs> that episode blew my mind. Yeah, it's like you're watching it in real time with the audience, and you're proud of the work people are doing. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, it must be different to have read it on a script yes. to kind of know mm -hmm. what the parts are, but then see how it all is woven together. Right. Yeah, it's, it's still mind-blowing to all of us. Oh, man, yeah. we love it. But you're nominated. Yes. So are you. Congratulations. Congratulations. How does it feel? Uh, it feels pretty fantastic. Yeah. First um, time Emmy nominee this year. It's amazing performance in season three, obviously. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah, it's um, it's uh, it's quite the uh, the the validation of all the people who have sacrificed things all along the way. <laughs> way that I, I I took it seriously and look at me now, Mark. Yeah. But, but you know, you have an interesting story in and in how you got the call that you were nominated. It oh. was Chrissy who called you, right? Yeah, I I, I was. Uh, Blissfully unaware of the fact that it was Emmy nomination day, I was home visiting my parents, uh, uh, working on a hot rod with my dad, and Chrissy sent me a little text. Hey, congrats! And I was like, ah, oh, it must be for somebody else. Sorry, wrong, wrong number. Um, <laughs> wrong number. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then my publicist said, congratulations. And uh, I said to Chrissy, wait, what, what for? And she's like, you've been nominated for an Emmy. And I was like, the show got nominated again, that's great. <laughs> and she's like, no, you personally have been nominated. Okay. And I'm like, you're going to have to send me some kind of photographic Are evidence. Yeah. I directed this one episode where this little girl runs up a tree onto a house. And our producer, Aida Rogers, was, we had picked out a house that had a tree, and I just wasn't happy with it. And Aida went, what you want is that house and you wish there was a tree right there. And I went, right, so we gotta build a tree. And just the silence <laughs> that permeated. I think on season one, I would have been like, no, we'll, we'll use the first house, we, uh, forget what I said. And so season two, I was like, no, we're building a tree. <laughs> so by season three, you're gonna be singing one of these with a megaphone, yeah, just screaming ahead, at actors. I want trees everywhere. <laughs> I want a tree there, I want a tree there. Just about trees. Call it a tromedy. A tromedy. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of dark um, stuff. There's happens. a lot of tromedy, a lot of grief, and um, and a lot of funny, and a lot of suspense. So every episode, you're going to get thrown um, some secrets and yeah. some stuff that you weren't expecting. That it's kind of mind blowing. And but it's, um, I mean, it is it is funny, but it also is a, a real look at like how people handle grief and how we fail at handling yeah. grief yeah, well, and how the really society so well. is like telling you that you're not grieving right yeah. um, and we're saying like it's it takes on its own individuality it's plus it's own, at the center answer. yes yeah. and at the center of it is an incredible female relationship um, a, a friendship that's that's got an incredible bond there's something else unique about this show it was important to you that you have an all-female writing team an all-female, like, pretty much an all-female team, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're all uh, lady directors. Uh, it's uh, myself and Jamie Babbitt and Leslie Hedlund, and it's all lady writers. Maybe as a result of all the ladies, gender almost disappears mm -hmm. in this kind of way that makes it far more of a, a human experience and a human story that sort of 
without maybe uh, the you know historical tropes of what it means to be a woman going through this experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's sort of the interesting twist about getting together that kind of a team. Mm -hmm. And Natasha, not only do you star in the show, uh, you produce, you write, you direct. How, how do you do it? all at once I just well logistically the thing is, is you know uh, I'm, I have clones and <laughs> between the clones and the multiple deaths it's amazing what you can't get wow. done <laughs> so it's, 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 a, it's a way of doing it um, but it's real it's been uh, an in incredible gift to get to do this and to get to do it with Amy and uh, I think for this particular story it's so deeply personal to me and it means so much to me it's really you know it means everything to me and so uh, I think for this it felt like the right way to go Tell me about directing it, because I mean, it's one thing, you know, I know you've kind of fallen in love with directing, but to, that's a lot to carry on your shoulders, a series finale. In a sense, yes. I mean, you just, you're just, you're working more. Yeah. You have more um, involvement with the different levels and, and departments, involved more in the writing and being a producer of the show as well. Really and truly, I just can't wait to get in back of the camera. Like I'm doing a take and then I'm just like, okay, can I move on? And then you have to have the camera guy. <laughs> like goes, acting's no. kind of a yeah. pain. He's like, Robin, you should do another take. I'm really? I don't want to. <laughs> um, it's so infectious working together with everyone, being a director. It's it's fantastic. I know, you caught the bug. You're definitely going to direct again, it sounds like. I hope so. Yeah. It's just such a dark story. Yeah, it's it's really, really dark. Um, I think what attracted me to this role was the challenge of it, really. And and um, I also, it's it's kind of a lot of pressure to play someone who's alive in real that. life. And I, I really liked the idea of that kind of challenge. Hmm. It's a really chilling story. Did too. you talk to her at all? No, legally I wasn't allowed to. Really? Yeah. What do you think is behind this apparent new appetite for true crime in mm. this country? Or do you think that there is a, or do you think it's always been there? I, I'm going to talk, refer you to a book called The Bible, where there's many deaths and crimes and murders. I was about to write it down. Oh, I, 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 I mean, have lots of those. You know, we've been, we've been watching this since, uh, reading about this since the beginning of time, all these r Greek and Roman stories, Medea, everything. Yeah. I mean, true crime's always been the thing. But because of <laughs> DNA yes. and all of this, crime's almost over. Mm -hmm. Guess what, everyone? Get out of crime. <laughs> it's over. Move on. Move on. Over. Yeah. Pick a different career. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get away with that. You will be busted.